We're checking in on air traffic this morning out in Katy. Nice day for a hot air balloon. We'll tell you what the freeways are doing, though, when we get back from the break. So stay with us. We're here to teach you about hot air balloons, and we're also here to teach you about thermodynamics and what makes the balloon rise. So periodically I'm going to say stand by, and then I'm going to put some heat in the balloon. But before I do, give me a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, the REMAX hot air balloon is an aircraft. It's governed by the FAA just like any airplane or helicopter is, and I have to be a licensed pilot in order to fly it. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a question for you. How do I steer a balloon? Well, you can't steer a balloon. If you were to take a helium balloon and you just let it go and start fly in the sky, that's how we float. We only float with the direction of the wind. We can't control left or right. We can only control whether we go up or down. So what we do with a balloon, though, that the, the wind currents are actually, do actually vary at different altitudes. So we can climb and find some, usually a right-hand turn as we climb, and as we descend, we can usually find a little bit of a left-hand turn. So the only direction of control we have is by utilizing the wind currents at different altitudes. What happens if I get caught, caught in the storm? Well, that goes back to the pre-flight planning. I have to check the weather before we go out and fly. And we don't like to fly when the weather is bad. We like cool temperatures, we like light winds, which are predominantly found early in the morning. Since balloons float with the wind, we have to judge how fast the winds are going, because we only have about two hours worth of fuel on board. That the balloon's lift is based on the temperature difference between the outside air and the internal air in the balloon. So on a colder day, when the air is colder outside, we don't need as much hot air in the balloon to produce the same amount of lift. But on a hot day, like in July, we're going to need a lot more hot air to produce the same amount of lift. Yeah, on count of three. One, two, three. Woo! 